Am I going to meet your father today, Madeline? I don't know why not. But it's up to Mother. But I wish you'd wait, Tommy. After all, Madeline's been home from school only three days. And I don't like to tell Mr. Errol right away that she brought a husband home with her. It would be quite a shock to him. Was Tommy such a shock to you? No, dear. I approve of him 100%. Thank you. That's half the battle won. If you knew Mother, you'd say 90%. Well, I can handle your father, but it takes a little tact. You see what you're up against? All two schemers. And beautiful ones, too. Uh, we're going to Palm Springs shortly. And if you just happen to be there, it will be a much better place to tell him about your marriage. I'll leave the campaign entirely in your hands. Oh. Change clothes and I'll be back in ten minutes. I'll meet you right here, sweetheart. Okay, Mrs. Van Dusen. Bye, Mrs. O. Goodbye, Tommy. Hurry back. Isn't he wonderful, Mother? <laughs> well, it will be nice having an attorney for a son-in-law. Mm. But we must be careful how we break the news to your father. Daddy was as fragile as that silly antique china he collects. And he has to be handled just as carefully. Oh. That's beautiful. Beautiful. 18th century, huh? 18th century Dresden. I'll take it. How much? To you, exactly what I paid for it. 250. Plus, of course, my usual 10%. Mm-hmm. That's good. Come on, I'll give you a check. <clears throat> Well, I'll pay cash. Oh, I'd just as soon have your check. Ah, no, even check stubs have eyes. Oh, someone doesn't approve of antiques, eh? My family doesn't approve of anything I do. The only thing about me they care for is my money. It's not as bad as that, is it? It's worse. If they knew how much money I've spent in antiques, I'd never hear the end of it. Well, maybe they really think more of you than you imagine. <laughs> I wish I could believe that. <laughs> well... I know of an old trick that you might try to find out what they really think. Well, I'll try anything. What is it? Tell me you're broke. Goodbye. Oh, Wendell, if you find another dressing like this, let me know. I'll keep my eyes open. Fine. Goodbye. Beautiful. should be locked in a room with a hundred of them going on at the same time. I told you time and time again, never... Oh, hello. How'd you get in here? The usual way, through the front door. What are you that about? Up, sit. Hilde here is playing waltzes and slapping my antiques off the mat like this. La, 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 <laughs> oh, you think it's funny to break a $200 statue? Well, Leon, I think you're being rather silly. Silly? Hilda, you think I'm silly? Oh, well, if you ask, no. Yes. <laughs> Even the servants have no respect for me. And stop running around the house in your underwear. You're not in school now. Go and put a skirt on. Oh, you're so funny, Daddy. I just came from the tennis club. You didn't go out in the street in that. No, I rode in Tommy's car. Oh, who's Tommy? Uh, why, he's a... Uh, well, I, I mean... Well, 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 Tommy's a friend of mine. He drove us home. Friend of yours? Tommy? Uh, did Tommy run around in his underwear, too? Oh, Daddy, you're impossible. Got to get used to sport clothes, Leon. You'll be seeing a lot of them when we go to Palm Springs. Well, you don't expect to wear an outfit like that in Palm Springs. Of course I'm not going to wear this. Well, I hope not. I'm getting a new outfit. Oh, well, that's all right. These are way too long. Yeah, too long. What? Say, we don't go to Palm Springs. But, Leon, well, we've made plans. Look, I'm not going to throw my money away so my family go down to Palm Springs and run around in their underwear. No, but you can throw it away on a lot of old cracked china. Well, they're not cracked. That is not all of them are cracked. Grudge me the few pennies that I invest in art. Penny? Yes. You 
You just said you paid two hundred dollars for that statue. I, well, you misunderstood me. I said it was worth two hundred dollars. Well, I haven't paid more than twenty dollars for anything in my collection. Well, I hope you break all of them. Well, that's fine. That's the daughter you raised. Me? Yes. She's been home from school only three days, and already she's thinking of nothing but her own selfish pleasures. Don't feel so sorry for yourself, Leon. Ah. You've disappointed her terribly. You talk, you'd think we were going to the poorhouse. Mm hmm Oh, Hilda, Hilda, Hilda. What do you think the family would do if I told them I was broke? I don't know what the family would do. But as for me, I would get another job and awful quick. <laughs> Maybe it'll work. All right. What do you want me to do? I don't want your father thinking about Tommy until I tell him. But he has to find out sometime, Mother. Not until someone tells him, and that will be my affair. All right. But I don't like it. Who is it? Me. Start crying. <laughs> Come in, Leon. <laughs> there, there, dear. <laughs> well, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. What are you two hiding from me? Broken heart? Don't, girls, please. You're just breaking my heart. I didn't realize I disappointed you so terribly. I would do anything in the world to make you happy. Then we can go to Palm Springs. Darling, darling, that's so generous. We can't go. Ever. What? But you just said we... I told you I'd do anything in the world to make you happy. But... something has happened. Happened? What's wrong? Well... I guess we've got to face the facts. You're looking at a failure. A failure? Well, Leon, what are you trying to say? Well... I've got to be cruel and blunt. I'm broke. Broke? You mean you haven't any money? Well, that's the general idea. And if I don't get some money before the week is over, I go to jail. Jail? Oh, Mommy! Oh, how awful! Yes. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, those cold bars and those cold cells. Oh, my God! <laughs> don't feel sorry for me, dear. I... Just don't deserve it. <laughs> Best thing you can do is get me. Goodbye. Uh, Daddy, wait! We won't let them put you in jail. You won't? No. Good. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go down to the office and see if I can't talk the sheriff into letting me have my freedom for a few more days. Yeah. I'll go with you, dear. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't if I were you, darling. I'll tell you why. The, the sheriff hates women. Oh. Shot three. <gasps> yes. Don't you worry, Daddy. I know a good attorney. Well, I know a good attorney's cost money. I think he'll let you owe him. Till you got out. Well, that's until I got out. Well, Madeline means that the worst comes to the worst. Which it might. Well, the worst is here. With all its might. Bye. I never suspected he was in trouble. He was trying to spare us. We've got to do something to help him, and quick. There's only one thing to do. Everything in this house that we do not absolutely need must be sold at once. You're right, Mother. We've got to make that sacrifice, regardless of whom it hurts. Right. Let's start now. Where are you going? After Daddy's China. I was thinking of the same thing. Come on. Well, I don't suppose any of this junk is worth very much. Whatever we get will help. There's certainly enough of it. <laughs> Mr. Van Dusen is here. Oh, it's Tommy. I was supposed to meet him. <coughs> Tommy. Is your dad here? No. Good. Hello, Mrs. Errol. I wouldn't have come up, only she wasn't downstairs when I came back. You haven't changed your clothes. Tommy, something terrible's happened. Daddy's broke. Really? We were just seeing what we could sell to me. He has a lot of old china in there. But I don't know how to go about selling it. Well, there's a dealer in the Baker building right next door to the attorney I'm going to work for. If you like, I'll drive you down there and you can talk to him. 
Well, I, I don't like to put you out. Well, I've got to go downtown anyway to get my bags. Oh. I was rooming with a friend of mine, but his pal is coming home tonight. But it's a shame that you can't move in here. I'll take this vase with me. I hope Leon doesn't find out about it. Don't give your right name, Mommy. That's a good idea. Come on, Tommy. I'll be back. Well, I... I think I can get you about a hundred dollars for this, Miss Jones. A hundred dollars? Well, uh, the market's a little dull right now. Oh, that's all right. I'll take it. I have a lot of other things, too. Oh, you yeah? have? Good. Uh, I phoned a customer of mine about this vase. Uh, excuse me, please. <clears throat> can you imagine? Leon only paid twenty dollars for that thing. Really? I'm going to sell all of his stuff. Hello. Oh, hello, Wendell. What, another dressing like mine? Fine. How much? Well, uh, uh, this is a much better one than I sold you this morning. Uh, uh, the party wants 300. Well, it's a deal. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Plus your usual 10%. Yeah, I'll be over there right away. Mr. Errol only paid $20 for that vase. You made a good deal. Oh, be so proud of me. While we're here, let's stop in and see my new boss. He may be able to help Mr. Errol with the sheriff. Oh, that would be wonderful. His offices are right here. I can hardly wait to put this alongside of the other one. Yeah, they'll make a lovely pair. Oh, they certainly will. Well, how's the family? Oh, oh I forgot to tell you, yes. I did as you said. I uh, told them I was broke. And? Changed their attitude entirely. Good. Now you've got to tell them that you've got money again. No, no, no. No, let them suffer for three or four days. We'll see how it works. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thanks. Oh, say, uh, it's lunchtime. Would you care to join me, Leon? No, thanks. I'm going home with this. I want to see how they look together. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing here? Why, uh, we were just seeing if we could help you out. Help me out? Well, Tommy took me to some... Uh, Tommy? Oh, so this is the friend that drove you home. Yes, huh? I am. I'm Tommy Van Dusen, Mr. Earl. You probably haven't heard of me. Oh, yes, I have. I've been wanting to meet you. You have? Yes, I think we should have a man-to-man -man talk. I think you're right about uh, that. No, not much. now, Did Tommy, not now. I want to explain things to Mr. Errol first. Going, going down? down? I'll see you at home. Come on, Tommy. Say, wait just a minute. You don't have to wait to see me. Oh, you're still here, Leon. Oh, hello, Wendell. Say, listen, what kind of attorneys are these? Why, they're the biggest divorce in town. Never lose a case. Oh, uh, divorce. Divorce! Oh, oh, wait a minute, there's something wrong? Wrong? You and your advice. This morning I told my wife I was broke, and now she's getting ready to divorce me and marry that young sheep. What's going on? Yes. Wait a minute, Leon. I've got to get home. Wait a minute. Look on here, you're going the wrong way. Hey, Leon, I want to go down. Come on, I decided to take the bull by the horns and have Tommy move his things in here. Oh, Tommy, that'll be wonderful. I hope you think so. Uh, oh, don't worry, I'll take care of Mr. Errol. <laughs> oh, Hilda, uh, Madeline and Tommy can have Mr. Errol's bedroom, and he can move in with me. Yes, Mom. And another thing, Hilda, I want you to pack all of Mr. Errol's china. I'm selling it. Oh, fine. It's about time that we get rid of that junk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer it. Come on, Tommy, and I'll show you where to put your things. Thank you. Who does this belong to? To Mr. Van Duten, Tommy Van What's he doing here? He's moving in. What? Already? Where's Mrs. Earl? She's in the bedroom with Mr. Van Duten. <laughs> hey. Is it all right if I put my things in with these? Oh, just take all of Mr. Earl's clothes out of there and put yours in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is going a little bit too far. Oh, Mr. Earl, you found out. Yes, I found out. How long did you two think you were going to keep... Well, I wanted to tell you. Uh, but... No, let me tell him, Tommy. Now, don't get upset, Leon. This had to happen sooner or later. So there's no reason why Tommy shouldn't move right in. Well, I'll be... You don't think for a minute that I was... How long have you two been in love? Oh, about a year. A year. 
And you've deceived me all that time. Oh, Leon, don't carry on so. Oh, I suppose I should be a pagliacci and smile while this fellow takes away my loved one. I'm not going to take her away, Mr. L. We're all going to live here together. Well, that's all. No, one. Look, Mr. L, let's be honest. I'm young and can take good care of her. And right now, while you're in financial trouble, you should be happy to get rid of her. Certainly. Well, this, this is beyond all comprehension. Is this what you really want? Yes, Leon. I'm very happy about the entire affair. <sighs> All right. Take her. She, she's yours. I... I won't stand in your way. Come to Papa, baby. Here's where I take over. You don't. You're not going to take her, too. But you gave your permission. Permission? Quit changing your mind, Leon. They're already married. Married? What did you mean? I thought you were talking to... Oh! No, Leon. What? I have another surprise for you. What's his name? I mean, what is it? You know that Dresden vase you had on the table in the den? What do you mean, had? I sold it. You sold my Dresden? And this is a surprise. I got a hundred dollars for it. Oh, a hundred dollars for my Dresden. Well, Mr. Frogsby took out ten percent. Oh, Frogsby, you sold a three hundred dollar Dresden for a hundred bucks. But you said it only cost twenty dollars. I, uh, did I? I oh. And Mr. Frogsby's buying all the rest of your things, and they're packing them now. She can do that. Those things are not for sale. But, Leon, you need the money. You're broke. I was only joking. I'm not broke. <laughs> Leon, you mean you were joking when you said you were broke? Broke <laughs> <Good> now! <laughs> 